What up, peeps? Jenny Raw, Real Unfiltered. Happy Monday. It is 12.15 Chicago time. Um, typically, I like Mondays because I always say Monday's the start of the week. Chance to set the tone, you know, make Monday your bitch, so to speak, which is what I like to do. It's always my goal every day, but especially Mondays. But today... My only request is, Jesus, please take the wheel. Take the wheel, Jesus, and guide me. Because it has been a hell of a day already, and it's only 12.15 in the afternoon, peeps. This virtual learning is quite possibly going to be the death of me. No, for real. Never that, but it is proven to be stressful as hell. And let me break it down for you real quick, okay? And again, this is for my sanity as much as it is for your viewing pleasure. Um, this morning, I'm, you know, talking to my son, my oldest son, and he is resistant to a point in doing what he needs to do because it's hard, okay? It's hard. Listen, I know it's hard, all right? I know it's hard. Never doubted that it was hard. I'll give you credit. It's hard. But when, when stuff gets hard, be it schoolwork or just life in general, the attitude is not, it's hard, so I'm not going to do it. Okay? It's hard, yet we put forth effort and we get it done regardless. All right? So I ask him, do you need help? No, mom, I don't need help. No, I don't need help. Gavin, let me help you. What do you need? I don't need help. So then he can't understand why I get frustrated. And then he sits there in the next breath and tells me, you don't even help me. It's so hard. You don't help me. I'm like, I just asked you, did you need help? And you told me no. My specific words to you were, were what do you need, Gav? What do you need? Do you need help? Let me help you. I'm sorry that you're upset at the moment. So your, your initial reaction is, no, I don't need help. I'm not a mind reader, man. Like, I have many talents, but mind reading is not one of them. It's hard, yes. But when, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Like, I've tried to teach him this many a times. And, and the thing that's frustrating is, he's got missing work and he's got stuff he needs to do, probably like every other kid. I'm not trying to make it about the academics, it's the principle. It's like... When something is hard, you put forth effort and you try harder. You don't just throw your hands in the air and say, okay, I'm done. That's it. That's not how we roll, you know? And again, we might be talking about academics here, but at the end of the day, I'm not even worried about the academics so much. It's just in life, in general, these are things that you need to learn and, and, and practice and carry with you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to explain to him that if something's hard and he chooses not to do it for whatever reason because it's too hard or let me move on to the next task and, and I'll deal with that later. Well, when I'm being told that, you, that he hasn't turned in certain things and he gets behind, it's no wonder why he's overwhelmed. If you're not going to do something, whether it's hard or whether you just, whatever it is, and then shit starts piling up, it's no wonder that you're going to be stressed out, exhausted, and anxiety ridden. You know what I'm saying? And that's part of it too, peeps, is, you know, Gavin's in seven, Troy's in fourth, so they got different things going on, you know? Gavin's got a whole different curriculum than Troy does. 
But like, Troy was having issues with this Chromebook this morning. I'm not a huge technology person. Never have been, probably never will be. Like, I know what I need to know, and if I need to learn something, I'll learn it. But it's, it's not even just a technology. It's, they have all these different, you know, what do you call it? Like, sites or whatever? I, I don't know. Troy has all these different things that he's got to log into for different, you know, reasons. And this morning he's got a loaner Chromebook because this Chromebook, something's wrong with it. So they're fixing it. So he's got a loaner Chromebook. And then he's trying to get in. He can't figure out this password. Then he doesn't know how to sign into this. He doesn't know his screen name. And I'm just like, this is the epitome of why it's so hard for me. And that's half the battle I feel is because the kids a lot of times know what they're, you know, doing, so to speak. But we as parents don't really necessarily know. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I can't help you, boo, because I don't know. It's not a simple question like, you know, what's 65 divided by 5? You know, that, that I, I can help him with. But when, when they need help with certain things that we as parents aren't aware of, I don't know, maybe it's just me. You know, maybe I need a lesson. And I'll be the first to admit I do maybe and, and, and I'd be happy to receive one. But it's just... I'm trying to teach them to self-advocate for themselves. And if they need help, they need to speak up and they need to ask. You know what I'm saying? And if it's something that I can't help them with for whatever reason, then they need to be responsible and make it a point to sit down, email their teachers, and ask their teachers for help. You know, communication. Communication is everything. If you don't sit there and relay how you feel, be it in an email, phone call, whatever it is, people aren't mind readers. They have no way of knowing. You know what I'm saying? So it's been a hell of a morning, you know? And, and furthermore, I feel like I'm bipolar in my thoughts sometimes and no disrespect with that term bipolar I'm very aware of what it means and I'm not trying to be disrespectful by any means but I'm trying to use it as a as a adjective or a means to to describe my thoughts and even Gavin will call me out on something you know on it sometimes and be like well you always say that it's hard but yet you know you get upset with me and blah 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 and I'm like I'm not saying it's not hard it's hard I've told you it's hard many a times but I have an issue with you not trying and just resorting to throwing your hands in the air and saying it's hard. And the reason I say he's not trying is because if he was trying, then he would make it a point to ask me for help or reach out and get help. Not wait till I receive an email saying that he hasn't done this or he hasn't done that. And... I was telling my husband earlier, the hardest thing for me as a parent right now is trying to find that balance between, you know, being conscious of not pushing him too hard given the current apocalypse we're living in and the mental health that it's, you know, the toll it's taken on his and, and probably a lot of children's mental health. You know, these kids are pretty much inside most of the time. They're on screens most of the time, especially with his work. You know, Gavin sits on a Chromebook for hours at a time. Then he plays, you know, his games or whatever. It's like their mental health, I think, is suffering a lot. And they can't go out and be kids to the fullest extent that they should be in terms of being, you know, doing sports and gathering, gathering with their friends and going out and socializing. So that right there is a strike against them. So I'm trying to be conscious and, and have a nice balance in between being aware of their mental health and maybe being a little lax and lenient on certain things due to their stress levels and anxiety. But at the same time, I also want to make sure that I am, you know, parenting and, and, and pushing him and 
you know, not being too lax and too lenient, if that makes any sense. It's like my, the academics are not a huge deal to me in comparison to my kids' mental health. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I'm just trying to give some perspective as a parent. You know, I don't know. Maybe there are other parents like like out there like this that feel the way I feel. Maybe there are parents that it's it seems to be, you know, jiving and going real well and their kids are thriving. I'm inclined to think in, in this world we're in currently, in the state of everything, that most kids are not thriving like they normally would be. So, you know, I guess to give one more example of the way I'm feeling and to, I'm trying to break it down and explain it the way I, best way I know how it's like, yes, I have been, you know, letting them stay up a little later. You know, I've been letting them play more video games than they no, normally would. And I'm just keeping it a hundred percent real. And maybe that's my issue is I go back and forth. I'm, am I making the right choice? Am I not making the right choice? It's the overthinker in me. And it's also the pleaser in me wanting to do everything correctly and to the best of my ability as a parent. But it's like, you know, I think to myself, given everything that's going on right now and given, you know, how they're not able to go out and socialize and be with their friends and play sports and do everything that they would normally do had this not be the current situation, because they're not able to do that, I'm trying to, I think, make up for it in some respects by letting them... Um, have letting them get their distraction and their happiness and keeping them so they're not, you know, negatively affected by letting them play more video games and, you know, being a little easier on them, if that makes any sense. I don't know, peeps. Drop a comment. Let me know. Am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. I know that at the end of the day, crazy or not, I know what I have in my heart, the love I have for my children, you know, me striving to be the best mom I can be and trying to be, you know, always be conscious of their best interest. I always have their best interest at heart. I always try to be conscious of their feelings. And I think that's what makes it so hard for me is I'm trying to find that balance, you know? I'm trying to be the best mom I can be and parent efficiently and, and, and responsibly while making sure that I'm not overdoing it, over pushing and making sure that, you know, and I'm trying to make up for maybe what they're lacking in terms of the, the social and, and, you know, just being a kid, the things that they can't do. I feel bad. So... I'm trying to find a balance between that and making sure that, you know, they're doing their shit. And I'm trying to, yes, explain that, you know, you got to try and put forth, your, put forth your best effort and do good in school. But in my mind, I'm thinking, you know, they're having a hard time because they're kids and it's not normal to sit in front of a screen for three hours and not have that interaction with your teacher or other kids, especially Gavin. So like, these are the, these are the wars I have going on in my head, you know, and I'm just trying to get it out so I don't explode, but I also need a little bit of feedback and input from y'all, all my parents out there, holler at me, let me know, does anything I just said make any sense at all or am I crazy? And no offense taken, I just legit want to know. Am I doing not doing this right? Am I overthinking it? Am I doing a good job? <sighs> I don't know, peeps. I get it now. Why that? Why? Why? When I was younger, I used to hear parents say. Oh, I wish parenting came with a manual, a reference guide, a handbook, something to refer to. Because right now, I sure as hell could use one. You know what I'm saying? I really would love to be able to just refer to something 
to see if if my thoughts and my feelings on the situation and and you know school and my parenting are warranted you know and maybe that's a pleaser in me maybe i need some reassurance some confirmation you know some um words of affirmation there you go that's my love language words of affirmation so anyway y'all i'm going to cut this video i'm going to finish now because i got to go cook my boys lunch i'm going to just got back from uh, an errand. I'm going to pop in and see how much work they got done. Um, that's really it, peeps. Jenny Raw, Real Unfiltered. Thank you for listening to me, Vent. I appreciate you. I really do. This is just me putting it out there, my perspective as a parent. And um, yeah, it's hard. It ain't easy. And if anyone ever tells you it is, they're full of shit. Jenny Raw Real Unfiltered, please subscribe if you have not. Please like this video. Please share this video with any parents or anyone that you may think might be crazy like me or have these same, you know, opinions, views. Just please. I'd appreciate it. Happy Monday. Enjoy the rest of your day. I need to go for like a six-mile jog or something just to calm down. But anyway, mad love, peeps. I'll holler at you later. Peace. Jenny Raw Real Unfiltered. Oh, 207 days sober today. Whoop, whoop. No alcohol, no cigarettes, no pills, no weed. Can never end a video or a live without preaching about that. Because I'm happy. Peace.